some thoughts uh, of mine on how I'm thinking on the chicken by Piggy Ellis and uh, this is a tune very well known by Jaco Pastorius. Chicken is an instrumental funk bluesy tune and uh, let's see how I see the form. I have noticed that uh, the players had two ways to think of the form. Uh, for me the form is four bars B flat 7th, 2 bars E flat 7th, 1 bar D 7th, 1 bar G 7th, 3 bars uh, C 7th and then uh, at the 12th bar I have a break there, a 2T section, this one and then uh, 4 bars of B flat 7th that means at the beginning and at the end I have 4 bars of uh, B flat 7th but I have noticed that there is players uh, thinking the form like uh, 8 bars of B flat 7th, then move to E flat 7th for 2 bars, 1 bar D 7th, 1 bar D 7th, 3 bars is 7th, and like uh, last moment of the tune they have the break. No matter how you think of that, uh, we just give some options today to play over it. Now if we start to uh, separate the form and we'll see at the first at the beginning from B flat to E flat, we have the traditional movement of the blues, one dominant to four dominants, and then goes one bar to, to D7 and to G7. And I can see that hypothetically like one dominant to four dominant, and then one to four. So really it's like I have three movements of one four in three different keys of uh, blues, B flat, D and um, G. Another way is to see this D only like a uh, transitional point between two blues forms, the B flat and the third minor third below G. For example, 1 4, transitional point connecting chord to G blues here. More easy. On the B flat uh, seventh chord, usually every seventh chord takes the Michelinian scale 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7, 1. Or because we say we said we just said that it's a bluesy tune, I may use also the blues scale. One flat three, four flat five, five flat seven, one. The mix uh, of these two scales, uh, I can use it to create melodies. have a 12 bar uh, traditional blues form. From the 4th bar to go to the 5th bar there is a transitional point and uh, I can play a lot of stuff that is out there to move to the next uh, chord, to the next movement, 1 to 4. Just before I'm going to change chords I may use different scales like uh, tension and release. I create tension there and release to the next chord. I will give you two options for today. The one is the diminished half chord. The other one is the alter scale, that means the melodic minor half step up. I start from B flat, I make half step up to B, note B, and from there the B melodic minor. 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, major 6, major 7, 1. And the result. For the next chord, the E flat 7, I can continue in my B flat blue scale. And also I can mix that with the E flat mixolydian now, which is give me the third of E flat. So I have really like E blue, uh, B flat blues or B flat Dorian scale, which is the same notes as the E flat mixolydian. But I'm thinking now only from B flat. That means uh, one, two, flat three, four, five, major six, flat seven, one. And th those are the notes also for the E flat mixolydian. So if I mix B flat blues and I use 
in the major six there is like I make the E flat mixolydian. From E flat, if I think the harmony like E flat nine with F top note, and continue to D seventh with this F top note also like common tone, uh, D seventh sharp nine. Resolve to G seventh with F on top here like uh, the seventh of the chord, and then move to the C seventh with E. I have this F note here that allows me to play to think this uh, D dominant seven like sharp nine and use an appropriate scale. Also, when I have sharp nine, many times I have it the flat nine together. And for me, those two tensions create re uh, great resolution if I use this D7 like transitional chord to move to my G blues now. Now I can use two easy scales again here. The one is the D alter scale, which is the E flat melodic minor. Start from D, half step up to E flat, and then my melodic minor. The other one is the half hold diminish again from this flat nine here. Half step up, tone, half step, tone, half step, tone, half step, tone, half step, tone. And then when I resolve to G, I'm thinking exactly like I was told before on B flat and E flat. G mixolydian, G blues, and from C7, G blues, and the C mixolydian, which are the same notes like uh, G Dorian, so my blues scale with the major six inside. Uh, bottom line for our improvisation here is that uh, we may use uh, on each chord uh, individually the appropriate mixolydian or blues scale and uh, the other one is in uh, our transitional bars to use the two scales uh, mentioned today the half hold diminish and the melodic minor or alter scale now if someone wondering about the arpeggios uh, arpeggios are uh, for me always hidden in on our improvisations because usually they are uh, the notes uh, that we land when we finish a phrase or a lick or whatever I assume that everybody should be familiar with the arpeggios before you attempt to improvise on any tune uh, there is some things uh, to consider of uh, one is that really to hear the tune, hear the form, this is the number one for me. Then to have the appropriate chops to play over it, for example, uh, the scales, the arpeggios. So uh, you have to practice them before uh, and uh, really some melodic phrases over them. Or some type of uh, really stylistic dancing rhythm to play over. For example, I don't know what melodies I'm going to play, but I have the intents of the rhythm I'm going to play. For example... You see, I sang the rhythm mostly, not the, the melodic intervals. Thank mm -hmm. you. 